so last week we left off at um yep this night right and here out of the fog and then they meet some night on a dark floor exactly like yep we read right up to the picture i think because we were like hey yeah. might as well so now we're starting with yeah. kuroi umo no kishi which is the night of the black horse um so i'll give you the first line First two lines, I think, is how I'll do it. So, Roroi is this thing that he's wearing. This is Yoroi. Of his arm? Hi. And then, so maybe it's. Um, I, I haven't been revising very much. Recently. So, so. I haven't been able to, so I'm just a bit of a reminder um, of what. Mm -hmm. Totally. Well, most of these haven't been popping up that much. Yoroi and Kishi have, but Sashi Dasu, this is probably the first time you'd see it in this context with his te being with Sashi dasu -ing. But you can kind of guess, do you know what Dasu means on its own? Uh, to go out? Yes, it does mean to go out. However, in this case, the thing that's going out is his te. Te o dasu. Which means to put your hand out, in other words. So sashi dasu is to present or to hold out in this case. So what does he hold out again? Does he hold out his hand? Yes. And what does his hand look like? Is it covered in something? Yeah, it's covered in his armor. Exactly. And who's the one holding out that hand? The knife. Nice. Yeah. So the next one, who who's is going? Um, and then it's omowazu. Uh, is that a conjugation of believe? That's actually shinjiru. This is a conjugation off of the verb omo, which means to think. So omowazu. Um, do you know what? So before I actually I can't do that. Uh, so omo, the negative form of that. Is omo wa nai, right? Omo wa nai. You add mm -hmm. anai to make um, the negative form of a verb. So, what does omo, mm. uh, omo wa nai mean? Doesn't think. Exactly, doesn't think. Zu makes it into without thinking. So, to think turned into without thinking. So, Jack, without mm. thinking, he ato uh, ato zusari, which basically means he took a step back. It means like to, to kind of like go backwards in like a flinching or trying to protect yourself kind of way. It's to step back, to draw back. Ato, from behind. I'm not sure what the zusari would be. Looks like uh, to leave. Is that kanji? So without thinking, mm. Jack basically steps backwards because the knight sticks his hand out in the direction. Um, yeah. Which is, let's go, big brother, says Annie. To go, where? Where are we going? Where are we going? Like, what do you mean by saying, hmm. let's go? And then it's like, I know people are going to go to the house. And then it's like, that person is helping us, yes. and giving us a hand. Specifically, and like, he's going to save us. Why is that? I don't know. Mm. Mm. The why mm. is that is a little bit different. We got wakaru. You know what wakaru means? Uh, to understand. Yeah, so he's saying, why do you know this? Rather than why would he save us? Why do you, Annie understand the night that the knight wants to save us 
And she just says, for me, I understand, obviously. Duh. Because it's Annie. I feel like in English, we kind of use knowing and understanding interchangeably. Maybe it's different in Japanese. Um, we, it's, it's the same in Japanese. It's pretty interchangeable. To wakaru can be to know or to understand. Um, mm-hmm. Both show up. Um, wakaru and shiru are basically the same. But if you're talking about a piece of information, it's normally better to use wakaru. Because shiru sounds a little bit like you're accusing somebody. Of something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that that's basically like where the difference comes, comes from. So it it can be hard to be like when would you use it because shiru can be a little bit iffy. But yeah, they, it's basically the same. They're interchangeable, like in English. Um, in most cases. In most cases, yeah. Um, ani ga chikazuite iku to kishi wa uma kara orite karu garu to ani o dakiage uma no senake ni noseta. So Annie, he gets, he goes up to the night. However, he's going up to the night, and Jack is not moving. That's what this Iku is telling us. He's going off toward the night without Jack. The night, once he sees that she's coming toward him, he basically gets off of his horse, and then he picks up Annie, and it almost like he's hugging her kind of way, and that she's very light, karu karu, very easily. Um, so he picks her up and then he puts her onto the back of the horse. Mm. And this will be for you. Yep. He was like, "Oh, it's um, I mean, you hurry up, uh, big brother. Uh, come on, uh, like, the more means also. Hi. Like, hurry up, come on to like, you know, um, he was like, I mean, uh, your brother there, just you more, or uh, or sorry or." Sorry. So it's like, um, and he called out the dialogue, and then Jack also, um, sort of, sort of, um, like he, he like, slammed That's a good guess. Um, osoru kind of comes from like osoroshi, which means frightening, like scary. So osorosoro basically means cautiously, kind of like timidly. But yeah, that's osoru. That same kanji shows up in kyoru for scary, kyofu no scary stuff. But yeah, here's osoru to fear. So fearing, fearing. With kanji, it makes more sense. With the kanji, it makes more sense now. Hi, hi. So yeah, come on, Jack, hurry up as well. And he calls out. And, and, um, and then Jack also goes near the night. Like, hi. Uh, fearfully. <laughs> so, so. Honbono no kishi no uma ni noru nante, yappari yumi to shika omoe nai. Something like riding on a horse with a real knight. Uh, it's something that you would only really think about happening in a dream. Or a movie. Or a movie. But specifically he says, Yumi, Yume Toshika. Which means, except for in a dream, mm. you wouldn't think of it. Yeah. It's um, and here's for you. It's like, Kishiwa. Um, Jakuro da. You know what suwaru means? Hi, so that right here is su, wa, and then raseta. Because the one doing suwaru is not the kishi. The one doing the suwaru is jaku. So it's yeah. in that form. Yeah, so Jack was literally sitting behind Annie at this point after the night put him on the horse, right? Hi. Um, Did you hear that? Yeah, that's that's coming from my Discord, so there's nothing I can really do about that right now. Um, one of my Discord, somebody is uh, doing some cleaning for stuff and it's going. Burr, 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 burr. So I'm like, ah, how could oh, they do yeah, that I right probably now? probably do this. Okay, it's better. Okay, so um, <laughs> well, that is actually a lot better. I can hear you so much better now. 
Yeah, I, I literally, I'm literally holding the microphone right in front of my mouth. <laughs> Should I do that too? We could get louder voices. <laughs> yeah. Hi, so hi, hi. Basically, uh, Jack is. Uh, sorry. Yes. What does a ducky age? So age, we mean? saw this in the last sentence, which was right over here. Ducky age. Age on its own means from, comes from ageru, which means to go up, some kind of upward motion, normally. And then daki comes from like daki shimeru or something like that, which means to hug. So daki age means a, hop and a hug and an upwards motion, which is being used because the knight is picking up children, right? That's how you'd pick up a child. Oh, okay, yep. You would hold up in your arms, mm. kind of like you're hugging the kid. It just kind of has a surrounding your arms kind of meaning. Dakiyage. Yeah. So the, so the knight um, pretty much hugged um, Jack to bring him onto the horse. And then um, he sat him behind Annie. Perfect. Soshite, jibun mo futari no ushiro ni tobi noru to tazuna o mochi naoshita. And then him as well, he basically like jumps onto the horse, is what it's saying, and is behind the two children. So Tobi is like the jump, and Noru is like the get on to the horse. We see right here with um, Noseta, that's the same Noru. So that's the get up on top. Um, and then he basically corrects by carrying the Tatsuna, which I would assume would be the reins of the horse in this context. Yep. It is the reins. Mm. So basically, he re-grabs the, the reins because he had let them go because he had to get down to pick up the children. Um, your turn. Mm, that's right. Uh, and then it's like, Umaga hashiri dashita. So the horse is running. And it's like, Ohori no mizu ga uh, tsuki no hikari o abite hikira de iru. So it's like, um, the horse set off running, and then it's like, um, the moat's water, um, had the moon's light ref reflecting off it. Perfect. Yep. Specifically saying it soaked up okay, the good. moon's light is like what it's saying, but it, that's what you're, but you're correct. Cause we wouldn't necessarily say that in English. It soaks up. So reflecting is perfectly fine. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Kuchi no ue de yureru jack no mimi moto o kimochi no i kaze ga tori nukete iku. So above the kura, kura no ue de, above the wara, so just, that seems weird to mean that in this context. Hmm. Well, above something, um, Jack's like, there's basically, there's a really nice wind that is basically flowing past um, Jack's ears. And it feels like pretty nice. Um, uh, very right next to it here. And it's very, Jack, you did do to shake. You did do Jack no Mimi. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty weird statement. Copy, copy, copy. I'm going to do the next sentence because <laughs> it's pretty bad. But basically, we know the wind's flying past his ears, and he's like, man, this is a pretty nice wind. Um, Jack wa jibun mo chiyokute yukan de kokoro ga yasashii kishi ni natta yona kigashita. So Jack felt like that um, him as well, that Jack would also be a very strong... Um, um, very strong ma and brave man with a kind heart. That's like he became a knight himself, basically. And these are like the qualities of the knight that he became. Uh, your turn. Mm. And then uh, my turn. Moni, if you said something, you you just went quiet. Oh my goodness. Something wrong with my headphones? Oh yeah, say that again. It was my headphones. Uh, is it my turn now? Yes, it is your turn. Okay. Kono mama, uh, doko ma demo hashite ke, uh, so na kiga suru. 
and then it's like yama o koe um uma no umi o watari atsuki ma demo perfect so it's like at this time uh, um at any moment is is that what it means doko um, made mo doko doesn't really mean moment do you know what doko means where, yeah, where. So wherever would be doko made. You're correct. Yeah, wherever towards. Mm, um, I, should uh, I feel like the ike here is the one which is the going kanji. Yes, it is. Is that right? Yep. Okay, good. So running as like going and it's like so na ki. What does so na mean in mm. this case? Uh, do you know what? Let's first start with kiga sudu. Do you know what kiga sudu means? Mm -hmm. To feel like. Yeah. So this so is just like the yo we see over here. Yo na, so na. Mm. Uh, it's basically the same in this context. To feel mm. as if. Um, doko made mo hashite yeah, so it feels iku. As if Mm. So it feels as if at this moment we were going anywhere at this point. Mm. Less than going anywhere, it's more like we could go anywhere. That's the demo part. Okay, that's true. That's the demo part's telling us. Oh, yeah. Specifically the mo. Mm. So, doko made, wherever, it doesn't matter, it's basically saying. No matter where we picked, we could go there. That's what I felt. And then he lists some examples. Um, yami o koe, yami. umi o watari, tsuki made. Mm, I don't think the koe after yama o is a voice. It's not, not sure voice, you're correct. It's the verb for koedu. Koedu. Koedu basically to means climb. to, yeah. Specifically, it's like to overcome. Like to, to climb the mountain and then pass it. Basically, it's koe. Mm. Same with watari. That's another to cross something. So it's a, but watari mm -hmm. is used for umi and koe is more, koedu is for like mountains and um, it's also used metaphorically if you're like talking about like a test or something. Like I can overcome this. Koedu can pop up in that context as well. But yeah. Both koe and wataru have the same meaning but they're used for different things. Wataru is for the umi. Which, yeah. what is umi? It's for crossing the sea. Hi. Crossing uh, the sea. Yep. Yeah. And then tsuki made mo. What do you think that means? Um, even going towards the moon. Exactly. <laughs> even towards the moon. We, but it yeah. basically means we'd end up at the moon as well. That's how awesome yeah. the running was. Mm. Nice running. Um, Toku de... Um, far away, they could hear the sound of the the hawks making noises, and they're they're describing that as a kantakai noise, which is high pitched and shrill. And then somebody mm. says, "Oh, the treehouse is over there," which is probably Annie, because she's the subject of the next sentence, which is going to go to you. Okay. Um, so it's like Annie uh, was um, Annie saw the uh, yeah Annie is like right in front of her she was able to see um, the tree standing where it was and then it's like Yubi um, I think that means she pointed it out. Hi, exactly. With a finger. Yep. Yeah. Yubisasa means to point, and ita means to say, and kodachi looks like it means a thicket or a grove of trees, which is interesting. Mm. I, I didn't know what it was on top of my head either. Guessing it was the tree standing there is logical sense, but I just want to check because I didn't know either. <laughs> um, yeah, I see. Kishi wa uma o ayatsute kodachi no aida o so the key, the knight, he, oh, 
he basically he's he's controlling his horse and basically they continue forward through the different um gro- through the old trees basically they're going they're weaving their way through basically and your turn mm. and then uh yagate ah no yagate um tree house ga mie ah sono shita made kuruto kishi wa uma o yametta i yeah no, tometa. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Um, so, yagate, if I remember correctly, is after that. Hi. Um, and then it's like, when they saw the tree house, um, sono shita made from... Wait. I think... Sono shita made kuru? I would probably... Mm. So, this should make sense to you, but I might just be like... You're tired. So first off, shita. What does shita mean? Uh, below. Below. Underneath. So sono is referring to something we referred to before, which was tree house. So tree house no shita. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that makes more sense. Um, so when they came to be under the tree house, um, the knight stopped the horse. Perfect. Pretty much. Yep. Mm. Kishi wa uma o oriruto, mazu ani o oroshita. So the knight he descends from his horse and he first gets Jack and puts him down. I'm going to do the next sentence as well. Um, ani wa mm. arigato gozaimashita to itte, oshiro no onna no hito tachi ga shitte ita yoni teinei ni ojiki o shita. So Annie says, thank you very much. And just like a, like the young woman ladies from a castle, um, she very politely does, uh, I would assume a curtsy, a bow, ojiki. She does a polite bow. And then your turn. Mm. Uh, Jack mo uma kara oroshite mo rauto. It's like Jack also got off the horse, um, and then it's like Morauto, which we've seen before. It's like he uh, tried getting off the horse, I think it is. It doesn't really have trying. Morau has the same meaning basically as Kureru, which is to receive. Oh. So Jack also yeah. received. Litting down from the horse is basically what it's saying. Uh, okay, and then Jack does the next thing. <laughs> yeah, and then... Um, he's uh, like... I remember seeing this kanji as a salutation, but I guess yep. it, it really is. So it's like, um, he said it's a salutation or gratitude, Hi. and he took a bow. Perfect. He says, mm. he says his thanks, ore. Mm. Um, Kishi wa futatabi uma ni matagari damatte yoroi no te o ageta. The knight, once again, um, I would assume gets on the horse. Ma- ma- matagari is not that word. Ah. Matagari. To straddle. So he, once again, he mounts his horse. But he doesn't say anything. All he does is wave his armor. He raises his um, armored hand like he's waving. Mm. Well, like, not like he doesn't wave it, but he just like, you know, raises it. Um, and mm. your turn. Yo, itevo. I think it's Kanri, okay. So, the car. Kururito on a uma no mukio kaeruto. Hizume. No, Otto, Hibiga, Hibikash, uh, Sete, and then it's like Tsuki no Hikari no, uh, Nakao Hashiri Sata. Okay, so this one's a bit longer, but I think I can manage. Um, so once again, we have Sodekara, so from there, um, I think the horse, uh, went back towards the castle or Hi, in some correct. direction. You're right. It basically mm. it's saying kururi is like in a turn. 
So the horse basically changes mm. direction, which in this context would be toward the castle, yes. Mm. So it changes direction towards... Um, yep, the kairu means the change direction as well. Yep. And then... Um, Hizumeru no oto. Um, it's the sound of something, but I don't know I, what the word is. I think that's a bell. Hoofs, I'm wrong. Hizumeru. Yes. Yeah, hoof. Or hoof. Whatever it is. <laughs> if you're British, it's hoof, I think. But and this mind. would just be um, the noise it makes. Hibisos de. To echo. Yeah. Yeah, the, the sound of hoofs echoed. It, uh, yeah. And then the light of the moon. Um, no naka. The inside one? Well, the point is that he's hashiri sarus. Satta. Hashiri satta. You know oh. what? They ran in the light of the moon. Yes, and sadu basically mm. is comes from to um, leave the sadu, so to run off basically to run and leave. So yeah, you mm. did perfect. Thanks. Jakuto ani wa isoi de nawabashi go o nobori ja tree house no mado ni kake yotte kishi no sugata o sagashita. So Jack and Annie, they hurried and they climbed up the rope ladder and then they rushed over to the, um, the window of the treehouse and they went over to look for the, for the night, but specifically the form of the night. And then it's going to be mm. your turn. And then, uh, and it's like, Okao no bote, if you talk for that, so it's like the uh, the black horse's night um, was like, what well, we saw Joheki. Hi, I think that means went under. That's a really good guess. The, the gate. But Joheki is what the gate would be attached to in this context. Is this a gate that's attached to a castle or a wall? Uh, to a wall. Yep. Joheki so is wall. Joheki is a wall, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Specifically a big wall. Yeah, castle wall. Just heki on its own means yeah, that's like right. wall. That's a kabe no kanji and castle. Jo. So the castle gates. Hmm. He detted from them. Yep, so he left through the castle, castle gates, and then it's like, Oka no bote. I think Oka is a, is a hill. Yep. Yep. Okay, and then this stuff, I wouldn't be so sure. Mm, so Noboru means to climb, so he's climbing up the hill. Um, Iku. The hill. Iku, yeah. you know, it means they're going away go from well. Jack and Annie. Mm -hmm. There, he's going away from them. Tokoro doesn't have like a lot of meaning in this. It's just saying that is where the night is. Because <laughs> Tokoro is a mm. place and time, like filler word, that refers to a very specific place and time. So the place and time mm. that the neat was the night was on this horse was at is being described as climbing up the mountain. That is after a the gate of the castle walls, basically. Mm. So they can see really far from yeah. this castle. Yeah. Um, Jaku wa yeah. I'm assuming the castle's right? also on a hill, right? Yes, I would assume so. Mm. Yeah, just making sure. Um, I don't know for sure. It doesn't really like say anything, but it's all it's saying is that he's climbing up a hill, and the hill is in the. Is after one of the the thingies. So we have this gate over here. There must be some kind of hill. There's a second gate, you know, with the castle in it. That's what this is supposed to look like, if you make you remember. So I don't really know if the castle itself is on the hill, but it definitely must be built on a hill. Um, yeah. Jaka wa ishun oka o koite iku kishi no yoroi ga kira. Kirarito hikatta yona kigashita. So Jack in, in 
in an instant, he felt like the... Oh, so he felt like the, the, the movement of the, 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 um, the knight in the armor that he basically was able to climb up that hill so fast, mm. almost like he was like a glitter in the, in, of light. Like a, like a, like, 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 like kind of like a shooting scar, star, you know, like, boom, but it's specifically saying like he's a shining glittery light. Mm. But that's how he, that's how the knight, um, koetad the mountain. So here's that koedu that you saw earlier for, to overcome it, basically, the, the climb over that mm. mountain, that hill. This is just weird okay. because the subject was like, eh. Mm. And then I guess from here is my turn. Yep. So it's like, shizukani kumo ga nagare. Kite, and then Tsuki o Oi and then Atari wa Mata uh, Yamini Tsutsumareta. Okay, so. So our subject is Kumo. I think those are clouds. Yep. So these clouds are in the sky mm -hmm. and they nagarete. They like. It's like they flow yep, exactly. in the sky. They are flowing. They're yeah. in movement. This calls them to o the tsuki. Oh, okay. So it reveals the moon, right? It's actually the opposite. O <laughs> is uh, this verb. Um, which it's is to cover the moon. Yep, to cover. Here's oi, but it's the verb o. <laughs> which isn't really popping up here, mm. but yeah, it's to cover. Um, so it covers the moon. Yeah. And this cause the atari. Do you know what atari means? You've seen you've seen that before, but you've I've struggled with it. I've seen it before. It. You've definitely struggled yeah, with it. Yeah, struggled atari. with it. So I need to see it more times. Atari means surroundings. So those yep, that's right. the surroundings so... were tutumaritad, which basically means engulfed in yami. To wrap up okay, in. Okay, so the surroundings were covered in um yummy darkness yep. darkness yep mm. because the clouds covered the moon covered the there's moon. no more light it's mm -hmm. dark now um now mm. this this whole thing was described as shizukani so the it's like the surroundings just became quiet or just quietly the kind clouds of. covered the moon basically the the like the, yeah. the, the, the clouds quietly covered the moon it's not really about all the surroundings but basically we we don't have a harsh wind going on here is what that's telling us um but the winds are moving anyway the so the clouds are moving but it's not like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. like that's not really going on here. God. that's a typhoon so so that be that's so it's nice, quiet, but clouds are still moving. So very light wind. Um, and I'm going to do these two. Um, itchatta wa yo ne, Annie ga itta. I said it, didn't I? Jacko wa nurita fuku no mama, kishi no sugata ga, kiete itta oka no ho, itsu made mo mitsumeta. So Jack. Who, well, in case you're wondering, was wearing very sopping wet clothes. He basically was just mm. staring for a very long time in the direction of the hill where the night disappeared. Where the night's form mm. disappeared. And then, Onichan, uh, Samui wa, is like, it's cold, uh, big brother, and it's like, uh, more kaeri masho is like let's go home. Perfect. And then do you want me to do the next one as well? Sure. Uh Ani ga hashi kakete mo uh Jacku wa mada mado no soto o mitsumete iru. So it's like um Ani um only said that. Hi. I think that's what it meant. This is kind of like even though Ani tried to start a conversation with Jack, Jack didn't do anything. He didn't have a conversation with her. Instead, Jack, Mitsume yeah. Derud, the Mado no Soto. Yeah, just looked outside of the window. Yep. Um, 
Yeah, um, and I, I kind of I recognize the Shika part for only, but I guess I don't remember the part after it. You're actually wrong here, even though you're right. Shika can mean only. Uh, <laughs> like this is one of those um false friends. The thing that's only here is the demo. Hanash kakeru is okay. what this verb is. Hanash kakeru. It from, comes from hanasu mm. and kakeru. Kakeru basically means you're starting, you're starting, you're initiating a conversation. You're the first person to say, hey! Oh, okay. That's what kakeru means. So hanash kakeru means to start a conversation specifically. So you also will see, for example, yobi kakeru, which means to call out to somebody. They'll be like, hello! Would be yobi kakeru. And hanash kakeru is more like, hey, big brother, mm. how are you today? You know, so whoever starts a conversation mm, yeah. is going to be getting kakeru added to that verb normally. Um, so this is in te mm. form, hanash kakete. And then we're adding mo to mean even if. Yep. So this means even if Annie calls out to Jack, Jack is going to continue staring out the window is what this is saying. Yeah. This demo doesn't necessarily mean Annie did start a conversation. It's all context-based whether or not they do this part of the verb. Um, mm, so yeah. with context, we know Annie did um, call out to start a conversation with Jack and Jack ignored it. So, But it just means even if Annie called. So even if or even when, depending on the context. So in Japanese, all if and when statements are context-based. Versus English, it's either an if or a when. We don't have that overlap. So anytime there's an if, it could be yeah. a when. <laughs> Hi. Um, mm. Nice. Now it's my turn. Um, Pennsylvania Shun no Hon wa doko kashira? Which is, I wonder where the book on Pennsylvania State is. Just wondering for you, this kashira here tells us the gender of who's talking. Any guesses? Um, well, there's no wa at the end, oh, mm. so that means I think it's Jack. It's actually Annie. Kashida, this is the first time I think this has popped up in this book. Kashida is an extremely feminine marker, just like wa. It's just a different one. Um, if Jack was talking here, he would actually say, Pennsylvania shun no hon wa doko daro? That's what Jack would say. Oh, okay. Annie, though, is being very... Daro in itself isn't necessarily male or female. Um, a female can use daro, from my understanding. Um, but kashida is extremely feminine. Um, if you wanted to be extremely male, you I probably see. would say daro without the long o. So daro turns into daro. So Jack's not mm. like that masculine. So he doesn't really have a lot of like aggressively masculine markers in his speech. He tends to be pretty, like I would say, mm. polite. Like... He's normally pretty neutral. So that's why he doesn't say doko daro. He says doko daro with the long daro. Which we've definitely heard him say quite a few times. Uh, yeah. So I turn. Makura na koya no naka de ani wa yuka no ue no ho no zagutta. So we're inside a small hut and it's completely dark. You can't see it all in here. Um, Annie, though, she basically starts saguruing which is basically to fumble around with your hands, like when you can't see. Um, you will also saguru like in your pocket if you're trying to fix something out. Or if you're a woman in your purse, you saguru it. Um, so she's basically looking with her hands on the floor for a book that would be sitting on the floor somewhere. Mm. And your turn. There's like, uh, kore kashita. And there's like, shiori no... Kanji ga. Oh, okay. Um, dashi ka kona tata yona ki ga suru n da kedo. This is so like. Tashka. Um, like tashkani. Uh, this is tashka? Like tashkani, which means like certainly. Okay. So it's like. Kore kashira. Kore kashira. It's here. Uh, it's, so it's like, here would be koko, koko kana. <laughs> Kore is this, and um, then kashida. Do you know what kashida means? Uh, I think well, wasn't it the um? I, I wonder if it's here. Exactly, right? and it's also extremely feminine. Mm. So Annie is still talking here. I think it's this. There's mm. no here here. Is she saying? I think it's this. 
um, koko kashira That's would right. be here. Koko. So ko yeah. means close to the speaker. De means this. Versus um, if it said ko here, then it would be the place. Is this it, I think? Mm. I wonder. Then she kind of goes, Hyori no kanji ga tashikani konna datta yona ki ga suru. It's kind of a weird sentence. It's like, yeah, it's a weird one. It feels like it's, um, I, I think it's like, it feels like it should be here, right? Mm, kind of. Shiori means bookmark. So I feel oh, like there's okay. a bookmark, like, I guess, in the book. And for sure, I felt like the bookmark was like around here in the book, I guess. Mm. <laughs> it's, it, it's a very weird sentence, I agree. I felt like it was around here, basically. Um, mm. And I'll do that whole paragraph. And you'll do that speak. Actually, I'll split this up. Speak is normally kind of hard. I'll do this part. Gyaku wa mata uwa no sora da. Kishi no yoroi ga mou ichi do hikaru kamoshirenai. So Jack, once again, he's doing, he's being absent-minded. Interesting. Uwa no so, sora. Absent-minded. And he's basically saying, perhaps, um, the knight's armor will once again glitter. And what's next? Mm. Uh, so mo to uh, madu kara um, anare rare. Okay, so uh, so it's like so moto I think means thinking in this way. Yep. Yeah. Is this, that right? Yep, yep. You're correct. Yep, and then from the window, and then there's that part which I would yep. not know. Hanareru is a separate. So now we have a lot of conjugation going on here. Um, harare. So first off, we got um, hanare rareru, which basically means so it's like to be able to separate. Yeah, and then we have nai, right, for negativeness and past tense. So he's saying, thinking yeah. that he was unable to separate himself from what? Uh, from his thought. Uh, specifically, actually, from the window. That's where that kata is telling us. Kata oh, okay. means Fair from. Enough. Okay. So thinking so that he was under separating. yes, physically separating, because he was like, man, the the night could show up again. Um, yeah. Kore de i wa yo ne, kono shiori no page yo hiraite kaeritaite ieba i no yo ne. So here that another wa, not a feminine marker, and he's still talking to himself. He says, this is good. I think this 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 should be good. Um, so if I open up to the page with this bookmark in it, and if I say, I want to go home, everything should be good. And what happens next? Mm. Uh, so it's like, any, like, put her finger or point it at um, something. I think it would be specifically the page, right? Hi. And then, what does Seizushi no, uh, Seizushi mm. mean? So, Se is normally your back, but Suji means like line, so <laughs> she stretches something. No. I, I actually don't know on top of my head. I'll Google that. Seizushi. <laughs> Uh, it's her backbone. So basically, she uh, straightens her back, in other words. So she's not yeah. leaning over the okay, book. Okay, so she. Yeah, so she straightens her posture uh, after pointing at the book. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Uh, the page. So then, uh, okay, then I'm gonna say it. I want to go home to Frog Creek. And what happens next? Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, 
Hachi Hajimeta. So it's like the wind began to blow. Hi. Yep. And then Yaku wa samuku natte yoyaku nado kara wa nareta. So it's like, so the, after the wind began to blow, um, Jack, like, I think he's like feeling cold at this Hi. point. Maybe? Yep. I'm not he sure. became cold. Naru. And cold, suddenly. And then it's like, so he got brought from the window, I guess. He moved away from the window. Yes. He moved away yeah. from the window. Um, yoyaku means like finally. They're like it took Jack forever. Oh. <laughs> it's yoyaku. <laughs> yeah. Um, Annie got tsubuyaita. Annie mutters, "Hontoni kono hon de yokatta no kana," which he says, "Um, this book. <laughs> I wonder if this book was actually good. Was actually correct. I think is what you're saying. Oh, <laughs> she can't actually see in the dark." Hontoni is truly mm. konohon de is this book yokatta is good and kana is I wonder kana is also a little bit feminine, mm. but not to the extent of like kashida. Like, yeah, and then it's like na nanda de is like what what was that? It's like yaku wa otoroite ami no ho o mita. So it's like. So Jack said, "What was that?" And it was like after that he looked in Annie's direction. Yep. What you say? Kono hon de yokatta no kana te. Omae nani shiten da? Kono hon is. I think. I wonder if this book is good. I said. Um. What are you even doing? You, like, because um, remember he was ignoring her. Hmm. And then it's like, kaze ga tsuyoku natte, tsurihousu ga mishi mishi to yureu hajimatte, no hajimatta. So it's like, um, the strong wind um, made the tree house creak. Hi. Right? Basically. Uh, and then it's like, Yure um, I know hajimeta means start, but I'm yep. not sure what the. So uh, yure the, comes from yureru. Yure means. Yureru means to shake. So altogether, it says the oh, wind okay. became strong, and the tree house begins to shake, and which is making a creaking noise. Um, mm. Moshi kyoryu no hon dattara doshio to Annie. Oh, Annie's talking here. <laughs> I read it like I thought it was Jack. She says, if I perchance happen to have grabbed the dinosaur book, what are we supposed to do? Says Annie. Oh, don't want to grab the dinosaur book. So, so. <laughs> and it's like, eh? It's like, what? It's like, so. Tomare is like, what? And it's like, stop it. Hi. And then it's like, uh, Jack, you got. Tree house me, um, got the sound, get in the gut, and it's like, mania wa nakata. Nice, so um, mania wa nakata mania? means to be too late, to not meet the time, is uh, the direct meaning for it. Yeah. Do you know what sakebu means? We've seen it. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure we have, but we I've have. forgotten it. If you saw the kanji, I'm sure there. you'd recognize it. it. Got a nice kuchi in there. It means to yell. So Jack okay, yeah. sakebus toward what? Um, it was the tree house. Hi hi, and then we have this guy here to mean however, however what? Uh, he was too late. He was too late. Wait, stop! Um, and this looks like it will be mm -hmm. our last line of the day. Kaze ga tuyomari, tree house wa kaite no hajime, sugu ni mo pi supido de mawari hajimeta. So the wind was getting strong, and the tree house began mm -hmm. to spin, 
and very soon the speed was super fast, began to be super, super fast spinning. Um, mm. And I'm going to do the next one so that you can do the last sentence. Ah, kaere nakatta ra doushio. Oh, what will we do if we don't go home? Don't return home. And then, to uh, then, to then, uh, and then, 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 Oh yeah, that's right. We've so we've seen that before. So, so. Everything and anything just simply stopped. So, <laughs> and then uh, everything became quiet. Hi. And it was like nothing could be heard. Exactly. And totsu den means end. just suddenly. Uh, totsu den suddenly. And that's the end of this. So then we have the a last chapter for next time. At least I think it's the last chapter logically. L yeah. I love how they literally put Furigana over the letter M. Yep, Emu. Just in case. Kids can't read M English after all. <laughs>